Okay, um, I'm just going to show off the nice little pit boy addition and a little trick that you can actually uh, do to have a working pit boy. Now, the instructions say you can use smartphones, and there's a small list of smartphones that you can use. However, there is another device that's not a phone, technically, to actually help out with this. Turns out, you can actually uh, fit a iPod Touch in the place of, say, an iPhone 5 or iPhone 5S. And if you don't have one, it is a cheaper option. You can go out and buy a brand new one for over 200 but obviously that's a lot to, um, you know, you know, put down just for, just so you can have a screen in this thing. Um, but you can also find them used for a little cheaper, or if you have a friend who doesn't use it anymore, maybe you could buy it off of them. So I'm going to show you that it does work. Okay, so I already got the foam insert ready. Um, this is the one for the iPhone 5. It's got the little backing, which kind of helps. And as you can see, I hope you can, this is an iPod Touch. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, caught in the reflection, maybe you can see the iPod logo. But this is an iPod Touch. This is not a phone. So, first things first. Let's see, make sure I get this orientation right. Okay. So, first I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this in here. And as you can see, the iPod Touch, though a little, though, though it's a little thin, it does fit in pretty nicely. I'll take that out because I'm gonna do this a certain way. Okay, so just like you would in the instructions, you're going to want to pop all that open. And obviously because it's a smaller screen, you're going to have to be using the mat. This is actually the biggest, uh, the biggest one. And actually it's perfect for this particular size of device. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slide that in here. And even though this insert particularly is for um, the bigger phones like iPhone 6 or the Galaxy, um, I'm actually going to use it because it's going to add a little extra width. So, cause, so whatever, whatever this device actually uh, lacks in its thickness, I'm going to try to make up a little bit for with this phone piece. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to slide this. I'm going to have the home button facing that way. It's just the way I like it. We're going to push it in, and it's pretty snug. I'm going to use my overlong sleeve here to clean up that screen a little bit. Okay, then you're going to gonna you're, then you're going to want to go ahead and add in the mat, which already looks pretty perfect for this particular size screen, actually. Let's go ahead and close that up. Okay, and just for, before I do that actually, let me go ahead and turn this on so I can show you how it looks, which I hope you'll be able to see. Let's make sure it's on. Okay, I hope you can see it okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the Pip-Boy app. And I've already have it um, set up, so it's already perfectly sized. Let's go to offline mode because I'm not connected to anything. And there it is. It is a working pit boy using an iPod Touch. So. The only reason this works though is because um, the length and the um, height of the iPod is pretty much exactly the same as the iPhone 5 or 5S. The only real difference being its thickness because it's not a phone. But like I said, you can do several things to make up for the thickness. Like I put in the foam insert that came with it to make it a little thicker. Um, if you got anything else that, you know, is 
a little thicker than that if it makes you feel comfortable and you can fit in there without damaging anything, go ahead and use that. But as you can see, this iPod Touch is I'm using in place of a phone. I don't have to worry about someone calling me I don't, or uh, texting me to where I'm going to stop playing my game, take all that extra time to take it off my wrist and you know pop out my phone so I can accept a call. And just so I don't get bothered with it on this, I've turned off iMessage and FaceTime so I don't get those alerts. So if you don't already own an iPod Touch, you can actually use this as a more dedicated screen. So it can stay in there unless you have to charge it. Um, if you already own the iPod Touch or you use it frequently, well, it's better to use in place of a phone because if you're playing the game using the app, you're less likely to be listening to music uh, from it. Oh, wait. oh, I forgot to do this for effect. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it works just fine, and it's on a phone. I hope this uh, was informative for anyone who uh, was a little pissed off that um, bigger phones, especially uh, iPhone 6 Plus users like myself, um, were, were disappointed that I couldn't use it. But this turned out to be a pretty good replacement, and if you really want to buy it uh, just for this, it is expensive, especially after dropping you know, 120 bucks or however much if you got it after the fact. Uh, you know, like from eBay users, scalpers, or however else you got it. But uh, yeah, works pretty well. And I hope this helps anyone who got pissed off about the no uh, phablets.